DBS Plays. What language do I speak? Anyway, <laughs> hey folks, uh, just uh, just decided to, well, let me get to that. Alright, let's name ourselves. Um, yeah, well, I mean, you already know the title. Uh, this is... This is, uh, Sonic Advance 2. like how there's, like, just enough space for my regular name, Daniel, <laughs> so... Anyway. I'm gonna turn it down a bit here. Of course, we got the, the slight delay in the picture from... Or, slight delay in the, um, audio. And that was so advanced to then have the voice acting. Let's do multiplayer. I'm kidding, of course. Um, and we are going to set it to easy mode, as in streamer, well, let's play mode. Streamer slash let's play mode. And now we will do game start. Um, let's see here. So, oh, who are these characters? I wonder. This is when they started the the whole, like, you gotta unlock the other characters thing. I guess it gives you more of a reason to play a Sonic. Other than, like, the Super Sonic stages. But anyway. Let's watch him get started. Just decided to, you know, had a little free time, so I decided to, uh, play some, um, Sonic Advance 2. And if you're wondering, uh, no. Uh, unless I'm able to use cheats, I will not be doing, um, I will not be doing the Super Sonic stage in this game. Just gonna let you know that early on, because, uh, like, if you look at an older Let's Play of when I played this game, uh, from the, from my Let's Play channel. Okay, I swear, it, hold on. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> One of these buttons allows you to, like, go, yeah, or something, unless that's just Sonic Advance 3 or something. I don't know. Anyway. Or maybe it's just harder to pull off here. But anyway, um, yeah, Sonic Advance, uh... Sonic Advance 2 is absolutely dumb with its whole, uh... With its whole, uh, uh... Having to get to the special stages. The way they have it set up, it, w it is just... So... It, I do not know what they were thinking. I can only guess, but I, I, I do not know what they were thinking whenever they, you know, whenever they have it to where you, you know, the way you have to get to the special stages. He's like, let me step slightly outside of this, uh, this, this shield. Oh, but anyway. But yeah, so, I feel like the problem is, I mean... So in my in an older Let's Play, like, I used cheats to get all the emeralds. I mean, I did it for the first game as well, but, like, I was especially glad that I used it for this game. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever the reason is. Oh, yeah, uh, well, before I get, wait, let's see here. Okay, no, it doesn't work there. Anyway, um, but, um, but, yeah, so... Like, I, I had cheats in, and that's how I was able to do special, the uh, Super Sonic stages in that one. I didn't have cheats for Sonic Advance 3, so that's why I didn't do it for that one. But, anyway. The reason I have it for this game is because... <coughs> uh, again, unless I use cheats, because, like, you have to find all these little rings. or Well, they're bigger rings than the regular ones, but you have to find all these rings. You have to, I think there's, like, seven altogether. And you have to find them, get to the end, like that one right there, like I just ran into. You didn't see it all the way, but you have to get all, get all of them and get to the end. Um, and then you have to... Um, okay, maybe it's... Okay, I, oh, pff, I know what the problem was. I switched out these for, yeah, for, for like X and Y on the GameCube controller, which is what I'm using. But hey, what's new to this Let's Play series is that, like, you'll see the characters being rescued this time. Unless well, something goes wrong with the recording. Um... Oh yeah, and have it on easy mode. I forgot I'm already, like, on the latter half of the, the thing. 
I'm not re I'm not really the biggest fan of this setup here, where you have like like the where you have to like constantly run at the boss like this. It makes sense in the context of Sonic, but at the same time, it's just kind of annoying. Like the way it, the way it is, because just like it, it's kind of its way of like being more challenging. Like they could they could have found they could have found a way to make this challenging without having to do this. I mean, the other advanced games did that. So, not the bo- well, well, anyway. But yeah, you have to find all seven of those rings. Bigger rings with the stars in them. And here we rescued Cream as she holds on to one of Sonic's spikes, or... Or it kind of on the side of him. Because they didn't... <laughs> well, whatever. We get cutscenes. Wow, you're the famous Mr. Sonic? <laughs> wow, you're the famous Mr. Sonic? Thank you for saving me! Thank you very much for seeing me. What a polite girl. See you later, and don't get caught again. Oh, wait a minute. Mom's still in trouble. I need to go help her. And she's like, what the... <laughs> and now I can play as Cream. Oh, shoot. Uh, Just a moment, folks. I will be right back. And we are back. Anyway. So anyway, yeah, you have to get the rings by, uh... You have to get them by, like, getting all seven of them and then reaching the end and then going into... I, th I can't remember for sure. I've done it before, but that's because I've used save states. Uh, on this. Um... <coughs> But, uh, anyway, so, so yeah, uh, so you say, so, uh, you go into the special stage, I think it's a giant ring, I could be wrong on that, or you just go through the goal and it, you know, or they keep going, something like that, something, something happens, but anyway, so you go into the, so, so you go into the special stage, and the special stage isn't too bad, and apologies for the noises that my, that my animals are making. Guys, what are you doing? Spartacus, Sylvester. <laughs> get him, Spartacus, get him! I just like to play around a little bit. <laughs> I just like to, you know... They like to wrestle. Yeah. But anyway. Can't little cameo for, from uh, my, my pets. Um, but anyway, yeah, so... I, I just... I don't <laughs> mess up that one. Oh well. Um, no, ring. So you get there, and it's not too bad. You have to get all these rings uh, within a certain amount of time, and you have to avoid zero from not Mega Man, <laughs> but uh, you have to avoid zero from Sonic Adventure, the one who chased Amy around in that game. Um. So you know you're doing that, and then like, okay. It's already hard enough to get all those ring to get all those rings because you have to know where they're at, and if you miss any, you can't get to the special stage. Um, let's see, I think it's like this one. I can. Okay, there we go. Uh, but anyway, so and I didn't realize I could do that until years later. But anyway, you got to do that. You got to get all like seven of them or however many there are. Um, and I think you have to do that in each world. It's like... That was cool, Sonic. Uh, <laughs> uh, a 2 out of 10 game now. Um, but like... Yeah, Sonic... Um, you have to get them all. Okay. Um, now do that seven more times. I can't remember if you have to do it in each world or if it's like you can just get... You know, if you do it in seven levels or seven times, you can get, you know, whatever. Alright, um, and then, to get everything, do that with every single character. So basically, seven times four, or possibly five, because, you know, you gotta unlock Amy, you have to unlock Amy by getting all the Chaos Emeralds of somebody, or all of them, or something. And it just became a big mess. And it, it, I, I'm sure it was a way to extend the playtime. But that is a horrible way to do it. That is a terrible way to do things. 
And I know there's time attack. I mean, there's already time attack. And it's a GBA game. What do you expect? How much time do you expect to get out of this? Unless you're an RPG, then, you know, you can't expect, like... This is more so for car rides. Oh no! I got into the blue and got less points! <sighs> Oi. And, um... In case you're wondering, it is every other boss that has the, um... That has the, uh, yep. It's every other boss that has, uh... The, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, ah, crap. And see, like, when rings are that scarce, it's like, okay, sure, you know, and then you accidentally jump and you accidentally miss them, and it's, I, I, I just don't like this, this, uh, structure of boss here. I just don't like doing the, uh, I see the challenging part of this, you know, the, the pinch, that's what they call it. I'm not sure why they call it pinch, but it, you know. It is what it is. Um, the reason that, I mean, like, they, uh, when you're in the pinch part, you, uh, well, yeah. Um, he, uh, he loses the cannon, and, you know. <laughs> but yeah, the, the Chaos Emeralds, uh, the, no, no. <laughs> No. Not a not a fan of how you have to get the emeralds in this game. So, that's why I I am just sticking to um um like if I can find cheats, if I can get footage of it or you know, unless I can find cheats like between, you know, while I'm doing these uh while I'm doing this let's play. Uh in between sessions and stuff, it, I will not be doing these the uh, uh, supersonic stage in uh, this game, and I won't be playing as Amy. It's a shame because she was a lot better in this game, <laughs> but she does uh, she does reappear. She also appears in uh, Sonic Advance Three, and you know, but that's a totally different type of game. That'll be a much shorter playthrough than this game. Um, I mean, in terms of, like, you know, because, like, in the, in, the uh, Sonic Advance, yeah, in Sonic Advance 1 and 2, it's structured kind of like how they did the adventure games and Heroes, where, um, well, I mean, this is before Heroes, but, um, where you, you play as each character. Uh, oh, I mean, it's kind of like that in the classics, too, with, like, with Sonic 2 and Sonic, uh, 3 and Knuckles and all that. Um, so, so, uh, let's see, what am I trying to say here? Um, so yeah, I think that, uh, so anyway, um, dude, die. <laughs> But in terms of, like, you know, how many playthroughs there are, um, how many, you know, like, this game also has, like, one extra zone, or one extra, uh, yeah, zone. <coughs> it, has, it has one, I think it has one extra zone, if I remember correctly. Uh, so that's a little more, so that's more levels. Also, this game, this game kind of follows more of, of Sonic 1's logic, where there's three acts, except, you know, the third act is just the boss in this game. Um, whereas, you know, in, 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 uh, in, you know, Sonic Advance 1, it followed more of, uh, Sonic 2's logic, where it has, uh, the boss at the end of Act 2. And then Sonic Advance 3 had three acts, and then the boss stage... <laughs> Uh, so in some ways, Sonic Advance 3 is the longest, but in terms of, like, you know, different campaigns, there's only one. And there's a reason for that. It's the, it's the partner system. But anyway, we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, so yeah, if it wasn't... Okay, if it wasn't for some design choices, like the, like the special stages, um, 
and or you know in general trying to obtain all the emeralds. Um, if it wasn't for that design, um, like it, if it wasn't for that, and some of the problems that are in these Sonic Advance games, and also uh, what it, what am I trying to say here? The bottomless pits. <laughs> Um, if it wasn't for all that, this would probably be my favorite Sonic, my so favorite Sonic Advance game. But as of right now, it's the first game simply because it it's uh it isn't it isn't just because it was my first Sonic game, but it was all it was just like it's my favorite Sonic Advance game because um there's a little more focus, it, you know, it's kind of more of just a callback to the classics. Um, but I feel like, you know, again, if this game didn't have all the bottomless pits it did, and, um, and like, you know, it didn't have the problem with the, uh, um, how you have to get all the emeralds, and, you know, how many times you have to get them, if it wasn't for all that, I would absolutely call this my favorite Sonic Advance game. Uh, because... Sonic Advance 3, in theory, is honestly pretty cool, but in practice, these days at least, like, as I started learning more about how you play Sonic, I realized that this one is actually better than Sonic Advance 3. Uh, some may disagree with me, and that's fine. Uh, but it's just, uh, I feel like Sonic Advance 3 was a little bit too, I guess, experimental for its own good. Like, you know, I don't mind playing experimental games, but whenever they just, like, it feels like it kind of hinders the experience. Especially as you learn stuff more, it's like, yeah, it's, you know. Now, I will say it is still better than, uh, what you have to, like, okay. My gripes with the game, and as the reason why I, I don't consider this my favorite. The, the overuse of bottomless pits, the way the bosses are, the way you have to just keep running like this and, you know... Um... But, um... It's like this. Oh yeah, there's tails. I forgot to mention there's tails, but I mean, I don't... As far as I know of, I think you can see that. Um... But, um... Yeah, so... If it wasn't for this kind of structure of the boss... Um, if it wasn't for, uh, uh, I'm gonna try to say here, um, if it wasn't for the overuse of Alms Pits and the special, and the way you have to do the special stages, as I just repeated myself, I'm just going over what I've said, um, then that would be, if it wasn't for all that, this would be my favorite one. Because it does do things better than in Sonic Advance 1. And, you know. And also, one thing I thought of was that if you quit this, if you turn it off, even if you're like on the boss, you have to start the whole... Thanks, Sonic, with my frown and winky face. I don't know what I'm doing here. Eggman, Eggman just came out of nowhere. Eggman, what's he plotting this time? I've got to hurry. See you, Tails. Huh? Sonic, wait for me! I'm in puberty. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> Ice Paradise. <laughs> Ramy. Anyway, I do like this place. This might be my favorite snowy place. Just, just the the way it looks in the backgrounds and all that. It's annoying. It's, it's still got the annoying, like, bottomless pits and the annoying this and that, but... I don't know. Something about the music and the backgrounds and all that. I feel like this might be my favorite. Maybe. I'd have to play through Sonic Advance 3 again for that. Um... Now... I was actually playing a little bit of Sonic Advance 3 recently. Semi-recently. Um... Uh, on my hacked 3DS. Because <laughs> um, that's the only way I can play it. Um, like, on the 3DS at least. Um, I've still got the game, but I was playing through it recently and I thought, you know what? 
Because I remember the let like whenever I did my currently my only let's play of the game, um, I was like, I was like, you know, I was a bit. I look back, I was like, maybe I was a bit harsh on it. Maybe it was just because I was, you know, playing with a. Uh, maybe it's just because I was I was playing using an old Elgato like video capture thing, like a not the HD one, but like one the you can the one that's supposed to be meant for like videos and stuff. VHS tapes, but I played through it some, and I was like, "Yeah, this is where I realize it's it's just a bit too experimental in its design, and you know, playing through it as Sonic isn't all that great. It doesn't feel like it's pure, you know, it doesn't feel all that much like it should be for Sonic." Um, but I, you know, it, it's. I'm gonna try to say here. It is, uh... I can't... Well, anyway. I was playing through it, and it was kind of hard to get into. And one thing is that the menus are a bit annoying. Trying to get to them, and, like, when you accidentally go into a stage you weren't trying to get into, you have to kind of wait a little bit to, like, be able to exit out of it, if you can. Um... But yeah, so why did I jump over those rings? Um, but yeah, so I, I slowly started to realize, yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm gonna be, or I, I, as a kid, I really enjoyed Sonic Advance Three. Um, I remember even as a kid, I got pretty frustrated with this game, though. Like, but. But like I really like even though Sonic Advance 3 could be hard sometimes for me. I mean as a kid I was dumb, but like as an adult I realized that like they kind of I, I think there are some things I can think of that would make Sonic Advance 3 better in terms of like you know how it's structured and stuff. Or, or some simple options they could have done to to help improve it. But again, maybe we'll get... I'll probably... Maybe I'll talk about that when I get to that game. If I get to that game. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but yeah. As I said, this game would be my favorite, but it's... Got... The, the problems it has... Makes me say that Sonic Advance 1 is still my favorite. Out of the advanced games. Um, but yeah, I remember, so, back in the day, I had a choice, I basically, I was looking at some of the new games I hadn't seen yet, and I saw, uh, and I saw Sonic Advent, let's see, I saw, let's see, I had a choice between this, Rayman 3, and Frogger's Adventures 2. Now, if, if you don't remember what I've said before in one of my videos, I, it may have been one of my Let's Plays, but it also might have been one of, uh, might have been my video about, like, you know, how much do I really like Frogger. Um, so, I'm trying to think up here. Oh, oh, cool. It didn't count it. This is another one of those bosses where it's either really easy and I can get it done really fast, or it takes forever because it's suddenly really annoying. But yeah, th this is this is not fun right here. But anyway, um, Sonic Advance. Uh, I mean, I had a choice between this, Frogger. And I think maybe Ray you know, well, when I said Rayman 3, I think maybe I, I thought Rayman 3. Um, so at the time, I was a bigger Frogger fan than I was a Sonic fan. So I went with, because at that point in time, I had only had Sonic Advance 1. Um, like, it, it wasn't until, like, it wasn't until, like, 2004... Whenever I really started expanding on like Sonic stuff, but anyway, I uh, so I got Frogger's Adventures 2. and then I got, uh, and then I think 
I think I got Sonic Advance 2 before I got Rayman 3, but I remember those three games, they all released in 2003. Uh, wait. Yeah, 2003. As far as I can remember, so or, uh, Frogger, uh... Because I know this was... Unless it came out in 2002 and I didn't get it until 2003. I mean, I didn't keep up with them. I, we didn't really have internet and I didn't really go to stores all that often for like... You know, I, I was still... I was like 9 when it came out or, or possibly 8, depending. Um, I, was, I was like 9 when this game came out. Uh, unless it came out before February 23rd of, uh, of 2003. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, I had gotten this game, oh yeah, and I always had such a hard time with this, with this level, it was so ridiculous, uh, but anyway, yeah, so, Sonic Advance, um, 2, I remember I got that, and, uh, I think my friend, I think my friend of mine got it before me. He, he kind of, you know, again, it was my friend that I watched play Sonic Advance 1 in class, like, when we had free time. And this is before they, like, pretty much banned having video games played, you know, even during, uh, wait, wrong buttons. Um, even during, like, recess. Which, I mean, looking back, it didn't make sense. Uh... You know, with, with my ADD, I like to go off, off subject here. <laughs> it's my channel. I can do what I want. Um, <laughs> it kind of made sense to um, decide to not have video games looking back at that time because they did say they did say stuff like, you know, kids would get theirs stolen, they would lose theirs, you know, probably get some angry parents that they, you know, thought because they probably blame the school, and then they're like, okay, no more no more video games in school. Um, but anyway, at least that was the explanation that they gave. Um, but yeah, so... Anyway, I think a friend of mine got it. I think I play... I can't remember what... Uh, but anyway... Yeah, this, this is... Uh, this wasn't the start of my obsession with Sonic. That didn't, again, that didn't really come until 2004. I can't remember if it was 2003 or 2004 whenever I started watching Sonic Set AM. That was the first Sonic cartoon I saw. Oh boy. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was that part there. I always, like, had a hard time as a kid because I was dumb, but, like, I was also doing the Sega learning curve. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, so, uh, yeah. Wow. Um, and see, I'd like, I'd like to have these, like, re-released on modern systems and have the rewind feature. Maybe. I mean, if, if, uh, not that I'll get it right away, but if, if, if Nintendo Online ends up adding these games, um, then I, I may have to get the expansion pack thing. Just simply because if I can finally do all the special stages, like, safe states can help, so I could already do that, but, like, as many characters you have to do, I feel like the rewind feature would be a bit better. Like, it's like, like, they finally, like, uh, just felt like doing that, um, like, they finally had another feature where it's like, oh, shoot, it's even more useful than a safe state, because you, now you can, um, you know, oh, boy, oh, yeah, I think there's a bottomless pit down there, yeah, this used to be, like, impossible for me with, uh, with knuckles. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and the music's different here. So for a while, like, I remember facing this boss as a, my friend was telling me about this. 
Um, I remember facing, I remember facing this boss as the other characters first. So I didn't, so I didn't hear this music. But um, and I didn't see Knuckles in the machine. I saw Eggman. Um, I gotta hit him at some point. So, but because I because of my lack of reading, uh, my my lack of like reading, understanding the world and all that. Um, I for a long time also this boss can like has some kill you in one hit moves. Uh, but yeah, for a long time I didn't realize. See, I thought Knuckles just was just you know he was also captured. That's that was my thought process was that he was also captured and he just happened to be where where Eggman would normally be. And I thought that like the way he's like doing that with his knuckles, like he's like he's trying to get out. Um, that's what I thought. That was my thought process before I really started. You know. I mean, to be fair, we didn't read, we didn't see anything. We don't know why Knuckles is doing this, but yeah, that's actually Knuckles controlling the robot, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that that was the reason until years and years later, whenever I actually paid attention to dialogue. Um, but uh, now the pinch music's the same, but but yeah, the uh, whenever you're facing it as Sonic, whenever you're trying to rescue Knuckles. That's when it's different at the beginning. Um, but yeah, so... That is actually Knuckles. This is actually Knuckles doing that. Um, let's see. Hold on. <laughs> He's just like mad. You know, the strangest thing just happened. You let Eggman dupe you again. Uh, you dip you again. Leave me alone as I grab my nose. Whatever. See ya, Knuckles. Hey, hey. Grr. I won't let Eggman get away with this, yo. No. You can now play as Knuckles. No. Knuckles. Now, this is probably my least favorite stage, and I'll hold on just a moment, folks. I'll be right back. And we are back. But yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of this stage. It, it always annoyed me. It went a little too harsh with the, with the, uh... Um, you know, with the, uh, bottom spits, but, uh... Also, the background, I understand it's supposed to be, like, some sort of cyberspace type thing. Techno, whatever. It's just not all that entertaining, and I, I get that they couldn't do too much with like the GBA, but I mean, we saw that they could make more interesting backgrounds. This one is just, eh, you know, it's just. Anyway, I mean, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, but they, it's just always kind of annoyed me. I wasn't the biggest fan of this stage, of this zone. Um, but yeah, I would, I would love to, um, I would love for them to re-release these games. Also, um, so whenever you see people say when, so when Sonic, uh, Prime, apparently it's supposed to be canon to, um, it's supposed to be canon to the series, and they say it takes place like after Sonic, sometime after Sonic Advance Three. Well, there's a few problems with that, but as Pariah, I for, I keep forgetting the number said um, on YouTube here on YouTube. Uh, canon, there there really is no such thing as true canon. I mean, I'm not quoting him word for word, but like basically. There's really no such thing as true canon in the Sonic series. Right now, that's kind of just a marketing thing, in all honesty. Because, really, like, you might have... That's cool. You might have some Sonic, uh, some Sonic games that are kind of loosely connected. You know, they might reference the past. 
but really they all just kind of do their own thing. You know, rules be damned. Um, <laughs> or canon be damned, and then like, and then like, you know, someone decide, uh, and then now apparently they have a team, a lore team, which means they have to find ways to connect them, to connect these games to other games. So, basically, um, now we have, like, Sonic Advance, uh, we've got, uh, Prime, like, there, there's some problems with connecting Sonic Prime to being, taking place after Sonic Advance 3. I'm not saying it's impossible, it's just that there's a lot of issues. And I feel like Pariah, the way he, again, I, I have uh, the, I keep forgetting his num he has numbers, but like I don't remember them, I just remember Pariah. And I only know that it's pronounced Pariah because uh, he said so, and you know, I've heard people say, I've heard him say Pariah. So anyway, I've heard, it's funny, I've heard words, I've heard words, and I've heard, and I've seen words. But I don't always know, like, which ones are connected. Like, Pariah, I've heard Pariah before, and I've seen the word Pariah, I just didn't know how to pronounce it. And then eventually it connected, I'm like, oh, Pariah! But anyway... So, yeah, so, uh... He was saying how, like... You know, the, equi the equivalent of saying a Sonic game is canon is like... It's like telling your chi child whose puppy died uh, actually went off to a farm so that they won't keep crying. Like you tell them, oh, he's not dead. He went off to a farm where he'll be happy. Or something like that. And I was like, that's actually a really good explanation for, for like, that's a good way of putting it to say that the Sonic games are canon. <laughs> that all Sonic games are or almost all Sonic games are canon. Um, really, though, the way I see it, I feel like it's, in some ways, I, I've kind of accepted that, like, you know, the Sonic games aren't really canon. They're loose. They're all loosely connected. Uh, and I've kind of accepted that. In all honesty, it kind of makes sense to kind of take what, do what, like, Mario does. Because Mario, in Mario games, again, they're, they may be... They may be loosely connected. I also don't like this boss, by the way. Um, uh, but, like, they, they may be loosely connected. Mario games are. Um, unfortunately, the problem is they, they keep reusing the plot. But I guess if they're only loosely connected, then they could just keep doing that. So it, it, it could be as if Peach has never been captured before. You know, I mean, they could do that if they wanted to. They could be, they could act like, oh no, Bowser, for the first time ever, has captured Peach. Not, not like in marketing, but like in the game, they could make it like in that kind of thing. <sighs> but anyway, um, but in a way, it could be good to do that because then, if someone played Sonic, like, like uh, you know, if some, if someone played. Heroes and they didn't play the adventure games. They may not understand everything, but they can still play and have a fun time. The, the only real thing they could do is like they might question is Shadow's character. Um, like you know, what, why is Shadow like? Why are they referencing a bunch of stuff from Shadow? Or for you know, uh, but um, that's assuming they pay attention to the plot. <laughs> but um yeah I I, I kind of I'm kind of okay with the the whole loosely canon thing. In all honesty, I just want the games to be good. That's all I want. Like And, and th another thing that can kind of, you know, I mean, you got the logic of, like, cartoons and video games where the characters never age. So, you know, like, I remember in Sonic, in, uh, Sonic Forces, um, 
so, or uh, uh, yeah, Sonic Forces. Uh, what's his name was saying. Uh, uh, shoot, what's his name? Uh, Infinite was saying uh, how like Sonic, um, how Eggman's been dealing with Sonic for decades. Which technically, decades plural wasn't wrong because at that point it had been like two and a half decades. You know, so that's more than one, but still. Uh, but, like, Sonic is supposed to be, like, 15. <laughs> There's, he's supposed to be a teenager, at least. Um, when, when teenagers haven't lived for more than one decade, they've been living over a decade, but they haven't quite lived two decades yet. If you if if I I'm assuming I did my math right, I, <laughs> but in that kind of case, it's like don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. They only age if there's a plot, and they want them to age in the plot. Cause I mean, like King of the Hill, it's supposed to be. It, it's. That show is more so grounded in realism, but the thing that keeps it from being completely realistic is the fact that the characters don't age. Or, well, they only age if the plot wants them to age. So, at the start of the series, Bobby Hill is... Um, Bobby Hill is, like, uh, 11, I think. Um, and then... Um, then he turn. then in an, uh, season one episode, he turns 12, and then, like, a uh, few seasons later, I can't remember which, I keep forgetting which one, but a few seasons later, he turns, uh, dead, like Sonic, no, um, he turns 13, and then, um, in, uh, uh, but, like, and that's it. I mean, I can't remember if he had a birthday afterwards and he turned 14, but throughout the, the cartoon's uh, uh, decade-plus run, like, I think 13 or 14 years? Somewhere around that. Somewhere between 12 and 14 years. Bobby had only aged a couple of times. They never make it mention Hank aging. Although they kind of they kind of mix up his ages sometimes. There's an earlier episode where he says he's 41, and then another episode where it says he's 40. So it's just kind of you know a later episode where it says he's 40. So it just kind of that's also a thing that keeps it from being as realistic. Is that it? Uh, it kind of changes the plot some, like other cartoons. And as, and as someone as people who who actually keep up and care about that stuff, that can be bothersome. <laughs> oh, but anyway. So anyway, these stages, they're fine. They're challenging, but like, I think the backgrounds are more interesting. I think it's because you're, it's like you're going in and out of like the space station or whatever it's supposed to be. Egg Utopia. Although, I do really like the music in this uh, level. I, I, I love how these how these uh, Sonic Advance tracks can really get that feeling. So I don't know how to describe that feeling, but they can get that feeling in there. Some kind of feeling in there when you're listening to the music. And like, like usually when they do the Final Zone stuff, they, they can really make it feel like a Final Zone feeling area with the, with the music. Like, cause this, this sounds like the Final Zone. It's not, now, you don't face the final boss here, but you do face, you know, you do have, like, you know, different music for the boss, and, you know. Also, I like the, the trails from behind, and, and by the way, I was going to show this earlier, but I didn't, and by the way, I don't really care about time, so. Yeah, when you hold up, they, they like, do, do that animation until you, you know, until you keep going again, or you stop, or, you know, if you stop holding up. For some reason, they thought to do that and not just have it to where you can look up. What the reason is, I have no clue. This one's a bit harder because there, it seems like it takes a bit longer because there's a there's a lack of a checkpoint for a little bit for a you know Sonic Advance stage. Um, let's 
see. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see here. All right, just gotta be just kind of concentrating at the moment. But yeah, so um, hmm, what else is there? But yeah, anyway, in terms of contained stories or kind of kind of self-contained games that may be loosely connected to the previous games, I think that's fine for Sonic. I've kind of accepted that. Do I like hearing the references to, to better games and the <laughs> newer games? Sure. But, um... But I think that, like... Here's my thing, though. Imagine, like, a Silver the Hedgehog game. We finally get a Silver the Hedgehog game, and then... It's Silver essentially fixing the mess that, like, Sega's... Or, you know, Sonic Team and Sega in general has created with the Sonic lore. Um, including Silver be still being there. Uh, so, I think for me, I think it's more like, I think for me it's like, uh, sorry. <laughs> I think for me, it's, um, I think what I would like to see, I mean, I, I highly doubt this would ever happen. This would need to be like a fan project, or at least a comic. Where Silver goes around and, or like he goes through this thing, he notices that time's all warped. Where there's actually supposed to be different timelines of Sonic, of like, you know, Sonic's timelines and stuff. But it got all screwed up somehow. It could maybe there's some kind of Chaos Emerald energy going around that's like causing all this mess. As many times the Emeralds have had to be used for Chaos Control and all that jazz. Oh yeah, the music here is really awesome. By the way, when you know what to do, this boss is actually really easy to, to beat. Or faster. Oh shoot. No, no. Usually. I'm just screwing up at the moment. If you know if you know the timing, the animations. The animations, as uh, Saber Spark would say. Then this battle is not that hard. Um. Which you would th now, if you're a first timer and you didn't know that, then I can understand this fight being hard. There we go. But anyway. Gotta message someone back real quick. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, uh, shoot. Oh yeah, and then there's a random boss rush in this game, which I again, that's probably just if there's a lot of things in this game that feel like. It was meant to pad out the uh, the playtime, because you know, I mean, Sonic Advance was a short game, relatively speaking. I mean, you, it's partially so that you could play as all the characters, but also it's like you you play through one character on a car ride, you know, a long a long car ride, uh, and then you play as other characters and other car rides, and you know, it. it I feel like it had, you know, it could, could it have been longer, sure, but for the game that it was, I thought it was fine. I thought it had a fine length. Um, but I mean, you know, again, a lot of these portable games were kind of built with, unless it's an RPG, like, on, on portable games, you either have to have a shorter game, you either need to have a shorter game, or have very convenient save spots or very short levels. I feel like that's the best kind of uh, thing. 
you could do. And I think that's partially why Mario Odyssey, like, why, you know, getting those, uh, you know, saves after every single, uh, um, moon you get. And I feel like it's, you know, or I think they said something about how they like, you know, it's just so like you're on a car trip and you can, you know, if you want to take it with you and it's just like, you know, you can complete a mission real quick and then you can get back to what you were doing. Then you, can, you know, kind of it's supposed to be like a convenient way of completing tasks. Mario Odyssey is currently my favorite 3D Mario game. Um, even if in some ways it feels empty, it's because Nintendo is making these bigger open world areas. I mean, you know, Mar Mario's is kind of just like oh, semi open worlds, but like uh you know. Anyway. So, but I really like that game. Sonic Advance 2. But anyway, yeah. Sonic Advance 2, it I understand or I can guess why they did the why they had a uh, um, why they did this is, you know, pad out playtime. Of course, again, the problem is, like, you, the, it doesn't save when you complete a act, it only saves after you've completed a whole zone. So after you've beaten the boss, that's when it saves. If you, if you are, you know, if you're on, on the boss level or the second level, and you don't, and you, uh, and you don't complete it before you turn it off. You're starting over the whole zone, both acts and the boss. So I remember playing this game. We were at a, uh, I was at a, um, we were meeting up at my uh, one of my good friends, uh, a good friend I still have to this day, um, at a good friend's house because where he lived, it was just very convenient for like a the Boy Scout stuff, and my, you know, my, my parents were there too, and, well, I was, of course, more interested in playing this game than I was in just doing stuff outside, um, but of course my parents wouldn't allow that, because we weren't there to play games, we were there to do outside activities, um, again, it was just where my friend lived, he just lived in such a convenient place to, for like, cool outside activities in the woods and stuff. Um... Ugh. Wait. <laughs> but anyway... And then this right here is the only boss in the game where you don't constantly run... I mean, aside from the Super Sonic 5, but that's like where you fly. Uh, this is the only one where it's like this. Oh, oh, oh. But, um. Oh boy, I think it's slowing down here. <laughs> I haven't actually gotten to this point on, on the Wii. That's what I'm playing this on still. Like, whenever I played. Oh, shoot. Don't. That's another annoying thing, is that the rings can go through the ground. But luckily, you don't have to start the whole thing over. Uh, well, you know what? I don't think you have to start the whole thing over in general. There we go. Like, when you get to a certain boss, it's only if you lose all your lives. I think that's how it works. But, um, with the ones before this, even. Anyway, uh... So, yeah, Sonic, um... I was playing through this, and, um, of course, like, whenever I was, you know, I was trying to play it, I was trying to keep it on, and I was like, Mom, can I play my game now? She's like, uh, is it, you know, can I, and I was like, I gotta continue. She's like, I turned it off. And, of course, that really upset me, because, um, because I had a, um, because I had a, uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, oh boy. Um, the reason is because, 
you know, I was on the boss for the for the one where I was rescuing Tails of the third world of the third zone, and I knew I was gonna have to do all that again. So when I, you know, when I know that my mom turned it off, I was like, "What?" You know, got overly autistically upset. <laughs> used to think that that was like a penguin. I used to think that the nose was like a beak, like a penguin thing. Beak, bill, whatever they have. Yeah, I would suggest trying to take out the arms while you're at it, because they can get really annoying. Okay. Well, we're done. We're good. We're square. Do, 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 do. Anyway, I'll, I do like this right here, though, like where they're like more detailed and up close and, you know. So as of this recording, I saw where uh, where. By the way, the credits music is different, as you can tell. Um, but um, so as of this recording, I'll let it play out this time. I think you can actually skip these. I think. We'll we'll find out for the next playthrough. But um, good old dimps. So. As of this recording, um, the uh, Sonic Movie 3, the third Sonic movie, has wrapped up filming. Or they announced it, at least. Uh, so, that's nice. I, I got the news about some, some Sonic news as of this recording. So, um, guess we'll see the movie by the time it maybe comes out in, at the end of this year. The year of our lord 2024 um it could get delayed of course anything could happen um as as anything goes these days um well it's been happening a long time but you know anyway sega of america um but yeah so sonic um sonic advance 2 as, as as Sonic it's a bit harder but I like it I, I like this game I don't fully like yeah you, you know the reasons by now why I, this is not my favorite Sonic Advance game um so anyway yeah so uh, we gotta well yeah we're, we're just gonna have to see that screen also, you have to unlock the Chow Garden in this game. You have to unlock that too. They went a little too far with extending the playtime with how they how they do that. But anyway, so next time we'll be we will be playing on easy mode, which is Cream the Rabbit. Ta this is like one of the only Sonic games with Tails as a playable character, where. Where Tails is not like the second choice. I just kind of thought of that. But anyway, we'll be playing as Cream next time. So until then, folks, thanks for watching. And, um, and uh, like this video if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more like this or any other types that I make. And I appreciate you all for watching. Have a good day or night.